Well, good evening, guys. Um, tonight I'm shooting with a very minimal gear. I have only my LED panel um, and uh, my Sony RX100. Uh, I know there are people curious and always asking me what I'm using to shoot. And well, I'm near uh, my famous cross in my Xped TP tarp that I have opened up to have kind of a lavu shelter. Uh, it was raining, now it has not really stopped but it's raining a bit less than before. Um, I hope my voice is clear enough and that I'm not talking too loud. Um, perhaps some of you have already, excuse me, I'm gonna <laughs> pass, move in front of the camera, but some of you, excuse me for the butt shot, have seen my anorak but what I'm showing here today is not only about this anorak it can be used with pretty much uh, any kind of smoke or outdoor jacket it's just that sometimes um, I like to use only this anorak as a kind of uh, fanny pack or kind of backpack or something and uh, and well these are the pouches I put all my gear in uh, for example, I have my cell phone on my person, but usually I put my cell phone in here. And in the middle pouch here, I put my uh, smaller water bottle, which is a, a SIG. I heard it's not made anymore, but it was really practical. I did love that a lot. It's based on the uh, old Swiss Army model. So with this really uh, 0.6 liter uh, water bottle you have the minimal amount of gear but still the capacity to make fire and everything. So this goes usually in that middle pouch and the other thing that I put in that pouch usually is my Swiss army knife when it's not attached to my pack. So it's going just aside um, you know I have a big amount of gear um, sometimes I mean it makes a huge pouch but I like to have that here because it's in front of my of me and in in, uh, in the mountains and the Alps or something like that I prefer to be unbalanced on the forward position than on the backward one so when I go really light I have that uh, and also just gonna pretty much show you my kind of micro kit that I have here. Uh, do I have? I have to reset pretty much everything. Yeah, here I always have um, a pre cut paracord kit. It's all in the small pieces of cord that I may need, and as, uh, as usually. I consider that we use too much paracord and um, and we don't really need that much tensile strength. So most of the time, if I'm on a short hike, I have that just in case, um, or I have also my bracelets if needs be. But most of the time, only some jute twine or even some uh, something that I can find right around, right around me is enough. Well, so what I'm saying here is I have my small paracord pouch that I like to put in here <clears throat> and if I have my cell phone on my waist let's say it's the case today because it happens a lot to me so here I have a very very minimal kit with this is the small um, Kupilka um, shot in which I have my small pedal Elite Plus. Uh, the thermometer is here just for uh, today, but usually I don't have it here. I have a pack of tea and an AMK um, survival blanket because usually I'm dressed all in um, in uh, in camo, and you know if I need help having some orange piece of gear is always a good point. So here I have pretty much 
everything I need. I have cutting tool, cordage, combustion device, and um, uh, cover uh, and container. Container, cover, cordage, combustion device, and cutting tool. Um, yeah, what I'm saying here is uh, is the 5C. You know that. Um, I must say it helps me a lot because in French you don't have. Uh, I haven't found that um, mnemotechnic trick, and this is pretty much what I was using. And when they found this out, uh, I must say <laughs> I use it a lot because when you talk to people, it's easy to say, "Okay, C C C C C." Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Okay, it's perfect. So, well, I'm not talking about all that today for no reason. Here, this is my anorak when it's fully loaded and when it's getting hotter sometimes I like to remove one layer, perhaps two layers, so I'm gonna get a bit cold for you tonight because here what I'm gonna say is that I have hidden in the pouch three loops of cords, two big ones and one smaller one and I use them pretty much all the time uh, doing a, a dovetail and just tightening the, the cord lock to hold stuff together but here the reason why I have those two big and a smaller one is to use this jacket as a kind of backpack so my ability to show you that on me today will be really really reduced because of the lack of space I have here uh, I'm not far from a ridge, uh, um, a cliff, so I I can't do uh, everything I want. But just to show you, here is how I do that. I just take my jacket, fold it a bit, then take my two big loops, at least well the bigger ones, and just put them like so to hold the jacket together. This is basically when I have no backpack. So here I have, as you can see, a three pouch backpack uh, sling. Now to be able to put it on my back what I do is just Take the third one, sometimes I make it another way, I have different way I am testing, but I've tested this one and I make just two turns, it holds well enough and now I'm gonna try to show you how to keep that, so here I can walk having like a bandolier, which is actually my jacket and I have all the really minimal gear I need and I can walk all day long like so just using what I have and of course the knife and perhaps a knife on my belt I could even add some uh, some really lightweight gear uh, like a small alcohol stove and a small dose of alcohol to you know I if I have such a lightweight stuff uh, it will be mostly to make a fire to cook my food so this is the very small packet I, I'm gonna try to make a, a better video but now is the time where I get cold and well, when you need your jacket you just remove everything but you know in winter now winter is coming brace yourself Winter is coming. Well, you know that line. Probably. <laughs> we all do, I think. So, when winter is coming, the problem is sometimes you can find yourself having lighter, having your uh, your layers. I mean, um, wanting to remove some of your layers. So here I've taken a very bright colored. Pullover just to show you. So now it's the afternoon, a great sunny day. I know I'm walking uh, on snow, but you know, or I'm walking um, 
somewhere where the weather can turn in a pinch and I just want to remove some of my layers so I just put this layer like so so I put it in the shoulder area just pull the the hood the hood back over it put my bottom part over I hope you see it well because I don't see at all what I'm doing but and now you just bring one of your cord tighten it take the second cord do the same so what is really practical with those daggerline uh, anoraks is that they have basically three pockets so what I do I put those between the pockets but here as you can see I just have one thing left to do is put those two sleeves one over the other of course I could even put more gear if if I needed to and here I have my travel pack I won't stay long that way but I can hold it like so and as it's really wide in here it's really comfy to uh, to wear that on your back on your person and I have water I have a way to boil my water I have I have everything I need uh, and all either on the back side or I can bring bring it to the front and it's a kind of backpack yeah uh, bandolier pack it's awesome it it just works really well and I, I thought I'd show you that trick because it works well with those and I haven't tested uh, that extensively with the Arctis jacket but um, I know it works you just have to be careful I have tested that at home not in the field this is what I mean um, but you know you have to perhaps be a bit more careful about how you put your gear because the back pockets will perhaps uh, fall on you or you can use the bottom bigger pockets as your main pockets and cover it. I, I'll try to um, make you a video to explain because now it's pretty conceptual and I'm just hoping that I still have uh, some camera time right now. So guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask and see you soon. Cheers.